Today we're going to be talking about how to compare fractions. Here's our standard for this unit. And here's our learning goal. I can compare fractions based on the numerator once I have found a common denominator. Let's take a look at our first problem. We have one half and we have two six. Before we can compare them, we have to see if the number in the denominator is the same for both. It's not. To be able to compare them, we need to make sure they have a common denominator or the same number in the bottom. To do that, we need to find a number or a multiple that they both share. A good way to start this is to list out your multiples. Let's go ahead and just write five out for each. Let's start with one half. We're going to take two and we're going to list the multiples. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's stop and take a look at six and and the multiples that it has to see if there's a multiple they have in common. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Let's take a look. Do we see any multiples that are the same? Yes. We have 6 and we have 6. Now here's what's important. We're going to take each of our fractions. Let's start with 1 half. We need to multiply to make sure that our bottom number can get to 6 the denominator that they have in, the multiple that they have in common. How two times what gives me six? Let's go back and count. We have one, two, three. Two times three gives me six, but whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So I'm going to multiply three um, times the denominator as well as the numerator. One times three is three. Two times three is six. Now let's take a look at our second fraction. We have 2 over 6. Lucky for us on this one, 6 is the first multiple because it's just multiplied by 1. So that one can stay the same. So we have 3 6 and we have 2 6. We now have to go back and look at our numerator since our denominators are now the same. And we have to say, okay, which number is bigger? Is it 3 or is it 2? We know that 3 is a bigger number than 2. So we can compare 1 half as being bigger or greater than 2 6. Let's try another one. We have 1 6, we have 3 fourths. Again, we need to find a common denominator, so let's list our multiples. Let's go ahead and just start with 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Let's take a look at 4 and see if we can't find uh, a multiple that it shares with 6. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Before we go any further, let's stop and look and see if they have a common multiple. Let's see. We have 12 and 12. Again, we have to figure out now our numerator and our denominator. Let's start with 1, 6. 6 times what gives me 12? We can always go back and count. 1, 2. I'm going to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 2. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 6 is the same as saying 2 twelfths. Let's figure out 3 fourths. Make sure that, that has the denominator of 12 as well. Let's go back and count. 4 times what gives me 12? 3. We're going to multiply the denominator by 3 and the numerator. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, 3 fourths is the same as saying 9 twelfths. We now have the same denominator, 12 and 12. So let's look at our numbers. Is 2 or 9 greater? We Basic fact, we know that 9 is a bigger number, so we can say that 3 fourths is greater than 1 sixth, or 9 twelfths is greater than 2 twelfths. Let's try one last one together before you try them on your own. We look at our denominators. They are not the same number, so we need to find a common denominator that they have in common. Let's list out our multiples for 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's go and list out our multiples of 4 to see what we have in common. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Before we go any further, let's stop and take a look and see if they have one in common. I see 20 for both of them. So let's go ahead and 
find what our fraction would be with a denominator of 20. Let's start with 2 fifths. Ask yourself, 5 times what gives me 20? Because we're trying to figure out our new fraction with 20 as the denominator. You can think of your facts or you can go back and count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 4. 2 times 4 gives me 8. 5 times 4 gives me 20. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 8 over 20. Let's take 2 fourths and figure out what that fraction would be with a denominator of 20. You can ask yourself 4 times what gives you 20 or of course go back and count your multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 5. 4 times 5 equals 20. 2 times 5 equals 10. So we can say that 2 fourths is equivalent to 10 twentieths or 10 over 20. Since we now have the same denominator in the bottom, 20 and 20, we're going to ask ourselves, what's the bigger number here? Is it 8 or is it 10? We know that 10 is a greater number. So we know that that is going, so we know that 2 fourths is greater than 2 fifths. Try this one on your own. Determine if 1 sixth is greater than or less than 3 fifths. This one, 4 fifths and 4 eighths. And this one, last problem, 3 eighths and 2 fourths. Do your best and I'll see you tomorrow.